Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for men's quarterfinal number four here at the 2023 Toto Dutch Open. And we welcome to the stage, first of all, a man searching for his first world ranking title, a former Denmark Open youth champion from the Netherlands, Bionic Barry Van His opponent is a former Austrian Open, Swiss Open and USA Darts Classic champion. He won his last world ranking title 12 years ago. He's searching for another from the Netherlands, the entertainer, Joey Tempe. And so to our fourth and final quarter-final of the Toto 2023 Dutch Open. Berry Van Peer. Certainly got the crowd up with some boom, boom music. And he's taking on Joey Tenberg. Joey coming back to the stage after he is away from the, the main stage, clearly showing that he can still throw his darts. Made the lakeside on a number of occasions. He's, as he says on his shirt, in the Super League in Den Haag, but speaking to him earlier in the weekend, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed in the experience of the Dutch Open. Did he expect to go far in the tournament? Possibly not, but... Glass is permanent, as they say. The winner of this game will play Alian Konterman in the semi-final. Our Dutch referee to complete the the all Dutch affair first on the stage. Barry to throw first. Game on. Betty Van Peer will get us underway. Gets us underway with the triple 20. One of and a triple 19. 137 in his first row. Good confident start from Berry. In fact, a good confident start from both players. They've both found the, the, the treble 20 really early in the game, which is great for us as fans and spectators alike. 84. The idea was right there from Berry coming away from the 20s to bit the 18 left at 170. 
So the execution wasn't quite there. Joey needs a treble to leave the finish, but he hasn't done so. One eight four then. Fifty six. One twenty eight then for Berry. Trebled eighteen next time. What can Joey do? Can he get himself under that hundred? No, he's not going to do it now. We could leave one twenty, which is Berry useful. And he needs one treble. Berry, on the other hand, needs two or an eighteen and a, and then a bull at the end. So he's got to go eighteen first. Yep, sixty for the bull. Not going to get there. Joey has two bites at the Joey treble 20 cherry here. 20. One of them can find the treble. He'll almost certainly get a dart at top three. Well, no, now, not now. He's missed the treble. 16. Berry, you require 86. 86 should be back at 18s for, for Berry. Treble 18 would leave double 16. Two singles would leave the bull. Let's see how he goes. Lovely dart. Double 16 then for the first leg. Double eight. Oh, I 17. think that probably hit the double 16. So 16. perhaps a bit fortunate, but could be all inconsequential if Joey hits double top or double 10. Ooh. 46. <laughs> Expression Very on Joey's face 16. tells you the story there. Double eight then for Berry. Double four. Very Vampire takes the first leg. On the darts as well. 41. This is our fourth and final quarter final. Yella Klassen beat the World Masters champion Wesley Pazir. Klassen, of course, is the Dutch Open current holder. He's through to the semi final. He beat Wesley Pazir 5 2, and he will meet Andy Bartens from Belgium, who came from 3 1 down to defeat Denny Alder Kolta 5 3. And then the second semi final, we'll 16. see Adrian Konterman, who Saw a brief rally from Aaron Turner when he was 4 0 up to get it back to 4 2, but eventually closed out 5 2. And the winner of this will take on Adrian Conterman. Joe is in a bit of trouble here. He, he dropped the first leg. He's way behind in the second leg as well. It's not quite happening for Joey at the moment. Fifty-eight. He's found the treble. He's fifty odd points behind. Plus these, and he had the throw, and of course, Berry won the throw for the bull as well. So, Joey, a little shake of his head there. Fifty-one. 91. 91 to leave 60. Joey needs two treble visit here. Not 16. to be. Very you require 60. 60 required. 20 for tops. Tops it is then for well, now tens. Hmm. Big Joey ask for Joey. On a snooker table, it's a big ask as well. 147. He went for the 57 first. Hasn't got it, but can he hit the treble? He's 48, so knock, knock on the door, Berry. I'm on your tail here. If you do fail to hit this double 10 or go out on 20, yeah, which he doesn't. Furlag is ready to throw first. So a 2 0 lead, a break of throw. Things are looking very good for Berry Van Peer. 100. 60. 
Just having a look at the way the guys got through two from the one to eight down to the last eight. Joey Tenberg first. He won his last one to eight against Gelwim Luberas of the Netherlands. He won four two. Then he beat Mats Gies four nil in the last 64 before beating Robin Smees 4-2 in the top 32. And then Mark Borelli, his best performance, he had an 87 average in beating Mark Borelli in the last 16, 4-2. So Joey there, that's his route to the last eight. And uh, Barry, Barry Van Pia. Ninety-five. Very required. One hundred and forty-four. After after the end of this leg. Fifty-four. Joey, you require one hundred and fifty. One fifty. Two travel nineteens would have left double eighteen. Not to be. Eighty-six. Very you require. He's in with a chance here. If Barry's got to go tr treble 20 here. Mm, now he's got to hit the treble 17, and he hasn't. So Joey's back for 64. Should get at least a dart 32 or tops here. Yep, he's going to get one at either of those options, and it's tops. Ah, really needed that one, Joey. Barry Unicorn, 52. Fifty-two then for a three-nil lead. Double top. Yeah, that is three-nil. Four laggers, Joey to throw first. Keep on. Joey with it all to do now. Barry, as I say, one sorry, Berry, as I say, uh, from the one to eight down, he beat Wesley Smith four-nil with a ninety-three average, his top average in the tournament so far, in the last Six one to eight. Mm. Then Martin Dracht, 4-2 in the last 64. Frank Huyck, 4-1 in the top 32. 16. And Korn Groeneveld, 4-1 in the last 16. So that's Berry's route. In fact, his last, his, the last game was the, uh, the top 16 game against Korn was his lowest average at 85. So the signs before the game were that Berry would have 25. been the favourite. And that's proving to be the case at the moment. Not a great scoring affair. Berry, of course, hit that 180. So I should, so I should say neither 14. player's hit a 180. Forty. One of them forty. One of them forty. Joey Unicorn ninety six. Sixty. Barry Unicorn. Good effort 50. from Joey, the ninety six, but wasn't to be. So Barry's got the chance fifty eight here for a four nil lead. Tops it is. That's a bit wayward. Mm. Joey's back Joey for double 18. Yeah, and he's in. He's on the board. Is that the start of the recovery? He's only one break of throw down here. If he can break, uh, if he can break the vampire throw here and then hold his own throw, we're, we're back at 3-3. Three, three, so... It looked bleak, but maybe not as bleak as 3 0 would suggest. One on the name 14. Maybe also Joey is beginning to find his range. 
Good one, three, four from Berry. Level of your devils in this fifth leg. Great, great thinking from Berry Vampire there. Looking for the 25 to leave a 170 finish. The execution didn't quite 67. work out. One of those where with his opponent so far back, he could possibly just, they looked beautifully set in that treble 19. He could have actually just thrown for a 171, but. Uh, 57. <coughs> well in charge of this leg, unless Joey can find a two treble visit. And that's definitely awkward. Yeah, made him go to the right. And of course, that's just that little flick into the treble one. 126 doesn't need to go for the treble 19s. Might go that any way anyway, but may, if he hits 76 with his first two, may come away. Does not hit that anyway, but 98 leaves 28. It's looking like a 4-1 deficit now for Joey. At least he'll know what he needs to do. If that is the case, he'll need to win all four remaining legs. And that is exactly what's going to have to happen. Four legs to play. Joey Tenberg needs to win all four if he's to progress into the semi-final. After this game, where there is a short break between the, the men's quarterfinals and semi-finals. Our semi-finals, of course, we'll see Yellow Klassen play Andy Bartons and Adrian Conterman play the winner of this game. Then we'll have our ladies' final, the reigning world champion and reigning Dutch Open champion, Bo Grease will take on the former Dutch Open champion, Eileen de Graaf. And then, of course, we would have the men's final. So. 16. Three oh eight here, Berries. <laughs> Great darts from Berry Vampire has put himself in, well, I was going to say in control of this this uh, sixth leg, but maybe not. Joey finding the 139, leaves himself 62. 181. Oh, beautiful 145 to leave 36. Joey's going to have to take the 62, or it could be his last darts in the tournament. Double eight, uh, double 16. And he's hit it. Good man, Joey Tenberg. A 62 out shot. And it's 4 2. And believe it or believe it not, that's a, that's the that, well. Actually, I tell a lie. Aaron Conterman went out on 72 and 70. I was going to say that was our highest outshot on the of the four quarterfinals. Not the 72 and the 70 from Aaron Conterman yet to have a ton plus finish in a quarterfinal. I'm sure there's one to come before the end of the evening. One or maybe more than one. 100. Vampire has definitely put that 62 out shot from Joey Tenberg behind him and he's rattling through this seventh leg. 161 points away from victory. His opponent way back on 301. Will he go treble 17? He'll come back to the 20s to leave 64. from Joey but it's not going to be enough six starts from here for Barry Van Peer on 64 treble 16 or treble 8 so double 8 then for the match and there it is 64 out shot treble 16 and double 8 
and it's Barry or Barry Van Pier that will take on Adrian Conterman in the second of our semi-finals, and that will follow Yella Klassen and Andy Bartons. We'll see you shortly for the semi-finals in the Dutch Open 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, as he leaves the stage, a massive round of applause for Joey Tenberger!